here to grapple with some of these issues and your phone calls are Brian King, president of Cabrillo College. Welcome, Brian. Thanks for having us, Rachel. Thanks for being on. It's good to see you today. Ray Kaup, he's executive director of the Santa Cruz County College Commitment, which is... Santa Cruz County College Commitment is a collaborative of the K-12 districts in the county, along with the three uh, big colleges, CSU, MB, UC, and Cabrillo, uh, to try and improve student outcomes. The numbers are very clear. The chance of being a member of the middle class or doing better economically if you don't graduate from high school are very, very low. If you if you don't happen to have won the genetic lottery and be an athlete or an entertainer, a high school degree is an absolute minimum. And and really, it is not except it's not enough now to have just a high school degree. And Ray Kaup, you had a uh, comment about maybe one way students could approach this that has nothing to do with their loans, but everything to do with their planning for their college time. Yeah, we were talking with Kevin at the break. Kevin's going to be through UC in four years, uh, and that becomes incredibly important when the cost of a year is $13,000 in fees uh, to be able to get through on time. We only have about half of the students at Cabrillo who complete their degree or certificate within six years. And uh, some of this is from just life getting in the way. Uh, but some of it is that people come and they're not quite ready to go to college. Uh, only about 10% of the students who arrive at Cabrillo are ready to do college-level math and English when they come on the campus. So if you spend your first year or year and a half coming up to speed for college, it's going to slow down your trajectory all the way through the four-year if you're going through to through the four-year or if you're in a career program, the two-year degree. Um, and all of that costs money, and it costs a lot more money today than it cost before. So being ready for college and having a plan when you get to college, I think, is one way to address it uh, uh, for students. I want to under, underline what the points that Ray was making, that, that part of what we've been talking about is unpleasant, the student loan, the burden on students, and there are challenges that are real. But what we're doing at the local level, the project that Ray is in the middle of, is working together with our K-12 districts, and starting earlier, that too many times we wait till high school to start talking to students about what they want to do. And it, it, it personally impacts me as a father of two middle age school children that if kids in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade are not on the right track to be ready to do college-level work, they're going to find out towards the end of high school that they're not going to test into college-level work. And the perception that we want to help change is that if you do really well in high school, you can go to UC if you do okay, you can go to CSU, and then that fallback, you can always go to Cabrillo. And that is true. We're open admissions. But the reality is for students who are not well prepared to do college-level work, they'll be admitted and they'll be part of those statistics Ray was talking about that they won't complete. And Ray Kaup, let's hear from you. How does it look from your seat, even though I can't see you very well right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the, the focus of our organization is to look at the success rates of students with the idea that in in a time when budgets are being cut, if we can improve uh, the overall success rates of the students that are going through the system, we may be able to uh, to do more with less. And and everybody needs to participate in coming up with a solution. Uh, so that's that's why we're doing S4C is to is to bring everybody together and not in a not in a you know, nobody's looking for blame. Uh, we're looking at data a lot in S4C, and we're trying to identify those inflection points that make a big difference. For example, we know that if a kid gets on a college campus before they get into middle school, they're far more likely to attend and complete college. There's research that shows that. So we brought every single fourth grader in the county onto the Cabrillo campus a month ago, a month and a half ago, which was exciting. You made and, him do and algebra. Did, <laughs> and we didn't lose a single uh, fourth grader, I don't think. Did we, right? They all made it back home. They didn't have to do hard math problems or anything. You didn't scare them off, right? And, made it look fun. And yeah. and what's what's interesting about this collaboration is now, because we're working together across the districts and across the systems through the community college and, and on into the four years, we can actually see what happens to those fourth graders as they go forward. So I'm really excited about great leadership from our county superintendents and leaders at UC Santa Cruz like George Blumenthal 
and at CSU Monterey Bay, there's a shared understanding that is really catalytic that we all need to work together and start helping students understand early on what they need to do to be ready.